Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Chavito from the Orto, and today we are going to do another reaction video today because last, like, um, for the last 30 minutes, I've done a live stream on um the new Arms game. Well, I'm sorry, the Arms character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, I was trying to do a live stream on the Smash Ultimate reveal for the last 30 minutes, but now we're gonna dive right into. The Crash 4 live announcement for today, and this is not another live stream. I'm just going to do this as a normal reaction, so yeah, this is still going to be uploaded on Chavito 808, and I know I could just do this on Jason Reacts, but no, nah, I'm going to do it on Chavito 808 because, well, I like it to have a more convenient time on my channel, and I'm also going to upload on the same a video on Jason Reacts as well. So, but long story short, I'm ready to react to Crash 4. Just only Crash 4, and I'm hoping it's gonna be good. So, without any further ado, um, let me go ahead and unmute this right now, and let's go ahead. And yeah, it's live right now, but I'm just only gonna be doing a reaction. So, let's go ahead and get started. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Oh, and make sure you guys check my reaction channel, Jason Reacts. And I also have a gaming channel as well, and I'm providing the links in the description. So, without any further ado, let's dive into this in three, two, and a one. Of interesting, progressive, artistic, independent games across the entire game industry. You'll see first look trailers. Brand new footage uh, and some really interesting games you may not have heard of, but I think you're going to like uh, with the reveal and first look at Crash 4. Enjoy it. All right. I'm just only going to do Crash 4 and that's it. So. Hey guys, it's Jeff Keeley. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. We've got a great show kicking off this week for you. Uh, I'm really excited to be doing a yet another week of video game announcements. And one of the things. What is that sound outside? I've got an extra. Hey, what's up? It's Crash. Yes. Jeef. <laughs> Where did they get the giant Gio mask from? Jeff Keglegs. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Jeff Keeley, come on out. Not this again. Remember the I the mean, old Crash Bandicoot commercials for the right PlayStation? Now. Hey, Papa Boy, Mustache Man, your worst nightmares arrived. Let me tell you, it better be worth it. I mean, I didn't see the commercials myself. I just watched them on YouTube, but <sighs> Crash, I really don't want the dirt that you have on Cortex. <laughs> oh no, this is the Crash Four trailer. For real? For reels well it's about time exactly oh you banished me to the past but all it did was give me more time to plan your doom, doom, doom. <laughs> I kind of prefer the older Crash Bandicoot design, but... Oh, wow! Yay, Coco's back! Waffle Aku Aku. October the second. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. Seemed like more. If I digitally get the tubular skins. Well, um, 
Now, I'm just going to get, like, the physical version of it, but I'm just hoping it will be a lot more fun to actually do a playthrough That's right. It, There's but. the big news. Crash for a brand new Crash game. It is coming this October, and right now I am joined by Paul from Toys for Bob to tell us about the brand new Crash game. Paul, uh... We have been waiting for so long for something new from Crash. Of course, Activision has done some amazing remasters. Yeah, it's been of, way too uh, long, actually, since like CTR, the third. This is for a, the... a brand new Crash game built from the ground up. From the original PlayStation? That's right. It's, uh, it's hard to believe, but it's been over And a lot of people think that Wrath of Cortex new was series, Crash so 4, but boy, to, uh, we were wrong. secret that we've been sitting on for a while. It's the brand new crash 4 it's about time and that's a it's a play on the fact that we've been waiting for so long but also it's a game that's literally about time yeah i, I want to get into it because the trailer is is filled with so much information i mean you know playable neocortex coco crash but i'm curious like what you know you guys had worked on you know the 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 remasters of crash but now to start with a new game there's i'm sure so much trepidation about like What's going to be a worthy, you know, follow on calling it Crash 4? How did you guys approach this? Like, what kind of game did you want to build? Yeah, I, I guess the first thing is we asked ourselves, where did we want to start? And though technically this is the eighth game in this series, um, all of the fan reception that was coming out of the Insane Trilogy, um, we wanted to go back to the original trilogy and start from that. We're deliberately calling this Crash 4 because we want to key it off of the original trilogy that was developed by Naughty Dog. And that was certainly a high point in the series, both critically and commercially. And so that's where the events are gonna key off of. We're taking, we're starting right mm. at the end of that when Dr. Neocortex, Entropy, and Uka Uka have been banished to this distant planet. And they finally found a way after many, along many, many fruitless attempts, they found a way to break out, um, and in doing so, they've torn this gigantic hole in the universe and exposed the fact that there's a multiverse. So it's going to be up to the Bandicoots, Crash, and Coco to restore that order by reuniting the four great quantum masks. The gameplay style, I think. You know, a lot of people were probably wondering. You know what? I'm hey, gonna actually try going back on YouTube again. Is, you know, the more as long linear, as I get the um, Xbox you know, working up again crash and, of course and now, do like, a let's we'll play like, on Crash, world, crash game. like on the entire like, trilogy, because I actually do have style of gameplay, the which insane trilogy on the Xbox, but never really did a playthrough on it. I've made a thumbnail, but never really actually did a let's play. But Crash versus making it some big. And right now I'm kind of off the I'm kind of off the schedule for making YouTube videos at the moment because you know college and stuff but i would really want to go back and you know really just do this um let's to, play uh, so i can be prepared so for crash 4 and when we observe some of which the is other games i want to actually get it by christmas because totally you know right. i can't do it this by october but um in nature and as a consequence the challenges and things that you interact but with, i think it's going to be cool and spread out and encourages yeah i'm so going to be late by the time when i get the game but um but like, I am willing to do a, a let's play on it, crash or probably gameplay, a playthrough. It's dense and it's focused, and it's really the streams of hazards and the challenges, the platforming challenges. They come and there. There's almost a rhythmic quality to it, and how reliable it is. And I know that for me, when I learn a level and I understand the nuance of the timing and the placement of all the different hazards, you can enter into a, a sort of flow state. Uh, when do you understand that kind of musicality? Multiple playable characters. Uh, how are you doing that? Is it kind of like by level or how, like we saw Coco and Neo playable in there. How, how does that work sort of in the scheme of the, the gameplay? So Crash and Coco, you're going to be able to choose between them at any point in time. And they yep. share the same moveset. Over the course of the adventure, you're going to encounter some new friends, some familiar faces. And um, you're right, there, there's going to be some new playable yeah, characters. Yeah, same as We're usual. Today. You get hit Dr. once Neo and Cortex then boom, you lose your life. Different moveset from Crash and Coco. So where the Bandicoots kind of barrel through and they've got the ability to spin and slide and belly slam, Dr. Neocortex is um, he's a little bit more of a cerebral character. 
Uh, he's a mad scientist. He's got inventions and he relies on his intellect. So he's got a ray gun that he carries around with him. And that ray gun has the ability to transmogrify hazards and enemies into platforms. And he can choose between changing them into a static solid platform or a bouncy platform that gives him access to higher elevations. So his gameplay and the levels that are built specifically for his moveset is going to be a completely different flavor. It's going to be a little bit more strategic, a little bit more cerebral. Yeah. And I think players are going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about um, when to encounter a hazard, whether or not to trans to change it into a platform and what type of platform they're, they're going to need at that point in the obstacle. Wow. It, it, it... It seems I just realized ambitious something. that you're adding more elements because to it. Because Crash coming out on the, the PS4, does that mean it's going to be coming how, out on the PS5 too? So the Quantum Mask I didn't really see that. In this game. I didn't really see that. But I did saw the Xbox the logo there, but rescue them from not really the PS5. Certain bosses, but familiar and new. Um, the Quantum Mask, two of them that we're talking about today, is the Time Mask and Gravity Mask. And Masks... In this franchise, they've got a lot of personality. They've got their own names and their own voices and their own powers. So the Time Mask, her name is Kapunawa. And when Crash um, uses Kapunawa, he's got the ability to slow down time to a crawl. So for obstacles that are beyond, just way too fast to interface with, at normal speeds, he's gonna be able to slow things down and then get past those obstacles. And in addition to that, he'll mm -hmm. be able to get past nitro crates, which have traditionally been a one hit, one kill type of thing. But with the power of time, he's going to be able to slow things down, trigger that explosive, and then get out just barely before that explosion obliterates everything. Ah, okay. The um, second uh, I like this is style. the gravity mask, and his name is Ika Ika. So when Crash dawns on Ika Ika, he's going to be able to flip the direction of gravity and walk on the top of ceilings, um, walk upside down underneath platforms to get past impossible obstacles. Uh, I'm really excited to play this. And again, I was- But the question is, the how do you actually get out. all uh, the boxes- Activision's done a great job like, with the remasters. On the opposite direction, uh, once totally you go upside game, down, like how do you do that? For, and uh, you're bringing it to life. So uh, mm -hmm. congrats for doing this and, and thanks for doing it even from a work from home situation. <laughs> uh it's uh it's awesome to see and can't wait to uh get to play it later this year thanks for having me it's a great pleasure and uh, i think it's an exciting time for games and i'm so glad that we could um reintroduce crash a new version um and a new adventure um at this time all right there you have it crash four uh we've got day of the devs coming up shortly but right now we are going to introduce you to Summer Game Fest tech correspondent. He nah, no, thank you. I think that's probably it. I think that's probably it. So, yeah, <clears throat> Crash 4 is coming soon on October the 2nd. So I'm actually going to um, pause a little frame right there, uh, right here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys want me to do a Let's Play on Crash the Insane Trilogy with the following Crash Bandicoot 4, I would love to do that. But right now, at this moment, I have college, still have college ahead of me. So by the time when summer courses are over, I'll be sure to go back into making more videos again. So yeah, at this time, I'm still in college right now. You know, just trying to work my butt off on getting good grades, and I really need to do a lot of work today. I have a lot. I just have a huge stack load of work to do, but I really promise you I want to go back on Jason Plays and Jason Reacts again. I know I missed out on everything, including SML, including all my future Let's Plays. I missed out Mario Kart, which I promised I was going to do, plus the online matches. I really missed out on everything, and I really do wish I want to come back, but I promise I make it up to you someday, but right now, I want to put college ahead first, so, but the point is, 
I'm really looking forward to Crash 4, and I'm going to try my very best to do the best I can so I can go back on YouTube again. And I will be sure to do an Xbox playthrough on the Insane Trilogy before Crash 4 comes out. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to check out my gaming channel plus my reaction channel, I'm also going to leave it in the description as well. And this time I won't forget about it because a lot of people have been asking me, where's the links? And I didn't even put any links in it. So, yeah, that's, that's about everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you all. Have a good day. Peace. And take care.